There's hope. Listen, and, and, and how many of you know there's hope in the life after? Hello? Come on. Did, did you know that you can have hope here? And that's why Jesus, listen, that's why Jesus prayed the Father, the Holy Spirit has come. Because one of the things that we have to learn is that not always are our troubles a bad thing. Come on. Not always are they a bad thing. I have several stories. As a matter of fact, since we've been, our, our, our time here, uh, and I'm not going to bore you with all the details. Maybe another time we'll discuss some things. But where someone got sick, went to the doctor, and the problem that they had wasn't the problem that they found. I mean, they identified, oh, yeah, this, this is the problem you got right now. But did you know? <laughs> maybe that's why many of us are afraid to go to the doctor, much less stand in the light of the truth because we're afraid of what might be found and it might be it might be bad it might be not a good thing but you know when you find out that you're sick how many of you know it's a good thing to know that you're sick i know there are some folks yeah yeah sister lynn is going like this wait wait i know i can't do it because i'm right now i just It's not always a bad things when bad things happen. And, and many times we try to figure out why. And many times we try to say we, we know why. Um, and we, we try to maybe simplify things. How, you know what, I mean, did you know we die because of sin? Do you know we get sick because of sin? I mean, all these things are true. But not everything happens only because of that. There are many things that happen, and God has a plan for it, a purpose. I mean, even if we go back, and I, I'm not going to get real deep on that to, today, but I want to make you just consider this. Why did God, why does God, our loving God, still allow sickness and death? And the quick answer is because of sin. Wait a second. How, how many of you know somebody who was the most saintly person you ever knew in your whole life? I mean, they were godly people. Yet they suffered horribly. And they died. And you say, well, that's just not fair. Did you know that Jesus suffered horribly and he died? Well, I guess what I'm trying to get you to think about is that many times the details and the purpose are not for us to know. And maybe many times we couldn't even begin to understand it. Amen? But there are a few things that we do understand. And that's what we want to emphasize. That's what we want to do. Those things, because God is going to reveal things that we have need of when we have need of them. Amen? And, if, you know, if you lack understanding, if you lack wisdom, we can ask God. And uh, last I checked in the book, that's it's right in here. It's right, right here. It says he'll 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 give you what you need if you if you ask him. Sometimes he gives you what you want. You wish you had never asked for it, but come on, anybody? <clears throat> well, I want to take a moment here right now. We're going to uh, ask if, if Brother Ed and Brother William will do the honors of standing and. Receiving our offering this morning, and while while they're preparing themselves, getting into position because they're out of practice. Um, <laughs> well, it's true. Um, I'll have everyone else turn your Bibles to Second Corinthians chapter twelve because that's where we're gonna we're gonna be for a little while this morning. Um, Brother Ed, would you do the honors of giving thanks for what we're about to receive? Lord, thank you for another glorious day to be here. We thank you and praise you so much for the chance to be here. Yes, Lord. For me. We receive the tithes and offerings that we use to further your kingdom. The Lord that would that prepare his speech for his sermon today. Bless our ears to hear it. We thank you and praise your name, Lord. Jesus Christ, we can pray. Amen. 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 So what up here, brother? Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me uh some of you may know this. If you know it, chime in. If not, by the time by the time this, I'll say between now and Christmas, which is coming, by the way, you'll know this song. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. 
Once in a while, somebody needs to poke the fire. Sometimes, you, Brother Mike, you got to poke the pastor. Ask my wife. She'll tell you from time to time I need a good poke. Ask Sister Linda. I mean, <laughs> how many else once in a while you just need a good poke? Amen? Because sometimes we get in ourself, and I'll say in a funk, we get ourselves in such a low estate, a low, we're in such a low position. And something needs to happen to get you up. And to get you moving again. Amen. <laughs> Let's read real quickly here, if we can, these three or four verses in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. I'm going to ask you guys to do something real spiritual. I'm going to ask you to stand while we read these two verses. Father, would you bless us today, Lord? Not only just to hear this word. Lord, but to understand it. And Lord, not just to understand it as if we could, if we were given a pop quiz, we could answer the questions. But that, Lord, that we would write it on the tablets of our heart. And that, Lord, if we've written it on the tablets of our heart, Father, inspire us and instruct us as you do. And, it, and Lord, as I said just a moment ago, sometimes we need a good poke. Lord, we, would you poke us that we would be doers of this word? We ask this in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Paul writing, <clears throat> and listen to what he says. Lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelation. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Concerning the things, concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I would rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. All right, now, the, can, I want you to say this. First, let's just repeat that one line. For when I am weak, I then I am strong. Now let's say it like we mean it. When I'm weak, then I'm strong in Jesus. Go ahead and have a seat as I go for the water. Somebody say praise the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord. I, I, I've got reason to, I got, I got a reason to praise him. I have a reason to, to 